My name is Paul Catalanato. Uh, I'm an abstract artist. My work is uh, plaster based with color mix into it. I used to do wall finishes out of a similar material and I just decided to do uh, artwork instead. Just take it out of the rigid world of architecture where you had to match a sample and just do things that I'm allowed to do whatever I want. Got a job working as a laborer for the plastering company Fell in love with the medium right away. They were adding color into the plaster and trialing it on the wall, polishing it up. And so, you know, this is all based on that. I, I apply it with trials. I could put a couple of different colors on the trial and just apply it to the, the artwork. And, you know, this, this area would be something that I could carve in afterward if I, if I put all this down over here and smeared it in and just take this and put some pressure on and expose what's underneath. And I don't know what's going to pop out, but if I like it, I leave it. And it just feels magical to me. I love the reaction. I try to give them the space to really take it in. And they have questions. And I love, you know, I love the questions they have and the things they see in my art. And um, it's a great experience. I moved here three years ago. Jersey City is like, you know, it just feels like it's, it's I'm catching at a good moment. It's just, you know, coming together. It's happening. Coming from Brooklyn, I felt like I've been in the place where the artists start out and the, and, the, and the community starts to form after the artists are there. And then, unfortunately, a lot of the artists get priced out and they moved on to the next place, you know. So I feel like, especially in the Greenville area, it's already happened in, in the rest of Jersey City, but the Greenville area, it feels like I'm at the beginning of something, you know. I feel it. I, I know there's like, you know, I can feel the buzz. I feel like this is the beginning of a, of a, you know, I'd love it if we had our own studio tour just in Greenville, you know. And that's, to me, I can feel that, you know, and I hope it doesn't change so much that, you know, the artists can't afford to live here anymore, that only the, the, the lawyers and the Wall Street people can live here, like in Park Slope or, or, the, or in Fort Greene. It's just, it's just way too expensive and, and crazy, and it's just... The artists get squeezed out, the, you know, the people that are living here now get squeezed out, and it's just, it's a shame, and I don't, I don't know how to stop it, <laughs> you know, but I just wish it, you know, I just feel like this is going to reach a certain point, and it's going to be great, and I just hope we're smart enough, you know, whoever's involved in the community is smart enough to stop it and sort of preserve it at the, you know, at the right moment, I guess, if that's possible.